In the latest chapter of JJK's culling game arc, things took a crazy turn. Yuji and his team finally scored enough points to free Megami's sister and bring Satoru Gojo back from the prison realm. But just when we thought that things were looking up, Sukuna activated his binding vow with Yuji at the absolute worst time possible. See, when Yuji and Sukuna made their binding vow, Sukuna laid out some pretty intense conditions. He would help Yuji survive, but only if he could control Yuji's body for one minute when he says a special code word. Yuji would agree, but was forced to forget about the vow completely when Sukuna defeated him. Cut to chapter 212 and Sukuna has taken possession of Megami using a loophole in that same binding vow. It became clear much earlier that Sukuna had been after Megami for a while now, but now that the King of Curses is in possession of the 10 Shadows technique, it's honestly not looking good. 